So today we're going to talk a little bit about backlighting. And you know, there's a couple of things that happen. I mean, backlighting has got really nice light, but you know, it doesn't take much for all of a sudden for the front of the lens to start getting hit by the by the sun and it creates lens flare. And you know, sometimes lens flare can be magic, but then a lot of times, you know, like it does stuff like this and it gives me a green dot on my lip, right? And that's not going to be very flattering for anybody in their portrait. And it also completely washes out everything, right? Um, and it doesn't take a lot. All of a sudden, as soon as it drops down here and the sun is being blocked, then it can expose for you know, for my face and, you know, we could, you know, we could touch and tap there, you know, get a good exposure. You know, we could also overexpose if we wanted to, to brighten that up a little bit. You know, there's a lot of flexibility, but as soon as that sun starts to come through, it just ruins it, right? So we want to start to look at how we can control that lens flare so that we can shoot beautiful portraits all day long um, in backlighting. And let's just reverse this really quick. And so we can see if I'm pointing in this direction, you know, it's getting a lot of exposure um, you know, from that sun coming in there. So what we're gonna do is, um, I'm just gonna to start with just using and kind of testing what it's gonna take for us to be able to start to get enough of this, you know, um, board to block some of that light. And we're gonna create basically a lens shade. So I'm gonna zoom in. And again, so I'm just using this board. And what I'm gonna do is place it directly on top of the camera, right? So you can see if I move it forward or back, there's gonna be a point at which we start to see it. And what I want to start to look at is if I'm looking, and I'm going to kind of point down just a little bit. It's getting pretty late in the afternoon. Um, but, you know, if I go like that, there's definitely, you know, a lot of lens flare that's happening. And so what I want to find out is as I start to cheat this in, at what point is it just enough to cut that light, right? You know, but not block. And the sun's getting pretty low in the sky. But once I can find kind of that sweet spot, that place where there's enough of it hanging out there to block that, so look at the difference between that and that, right? And you know, there I'm starting to see it. So, um, but right there, it's kind of out of frame and the sun's, you know, it's only like 40 minutes before sunset. So um, what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna make a mark on my piece of cardboard over here. I'm just gonna use a pen and, um, and that way I know about how long that can be and still create enough shade for almost all day long um you know but then also be enough where it's not going to be seen you know it's kind of right at that edge and i can always trim some off if i absolutely had to so i'm just going to flip this over really quick using my pen so i just grabbed myself a sharpie I'm just gonna put a mark right along here so I know about what that length is. So again, I'm just putting a little mark there. So I know how far that's gonna be. And then I'm gonna we're gonna basically go inside and we're gonna construct a little lens shade for our for our camera. And you know, we'll use that lens shade to go ahead and do two things. One is again we're gonna be doing backlighting, right? So I'm gonna spin around this way. So we're gonna use it kind of in two ways. One will be to create the lens shade for our lens so we're not getting lens flare. And then the other one's gonna be, and this is just a regular white piece, you know, it's just a piece of cardboard. Um, we'll make it white, but we're also gonna use it um, to bounce some light back in here. So we'll, we'll use it basically as a fill card as well. That'll start to put some extra light in there. So it'll be kind of a two-in-one, you know, reflector and lens shade. So let's go inside and see how we're gonna make it.